This Bollywood movie was delayed because protesters threatened to kill the lead actress. This is the story of Badmavati. <laughs> Director Sanjay Leela Bansali's newest production was supposed to be Bollywood's biggest release of 2017. Instead, it brought a storm of controversy that not only stripped the director of his creative expression, but also threatened the safety of renowned Bollywood artists and moviegoers. All of this over a fictional film. Sounds pretty familiar, doesn't it? Our supreme leader, Kim Jong-un, is interested in doing an interview with Dave Skylark. Oh my god. Who is playing the radical dictator in this story? Let's break this down. Bansali's film is based on a 14th century Rajput queen, Padmavati, played by Deepika Padukone. In India's caste system, Rajputs descend from a warrior ruling class. This queen was apparently so beautiful that Muslim emperor Alauddin Khilji went to war with her husband to kidnap her and make her his wife. But that didn't happen. As the story goes, Padmani and thousands of other Rajput women committed Johar, when women burned themselves to protect their honor in times of war and invasion. Secondly, Badmavati's story is based on a poem, meaning we don't know if she ever actually existed. The poem was written by Sufi poet Malik Muhammad Jayasi some 200 years after the story is believed to have taken place. But even if it's fictional, certain groups in the current Rajput community are still pretty upset. See, Rajputs are really proud of their lineage and history. Rumors of a romantic scene between Padmavati and Kilji in the film raised controversy. Two conservative groups within the Rajput community, Garni Sena and Mahakal Sena, called for the movie to be banned, saying it tarnished Rajput history. But the scene in question isn't actually in the movie, and none of the people protesting had even seen it. Regardless, the protests got more serious. They assaulted director Sanjalila Bansali, trashed his set, called for Deepika Padukone's nose to be cut off after she called their actions regressive. They then added that all she does is dance for people in short clothes. They burned effigies of Bansali and Padukone in protests, trashed theaters that were promoting the film, threatened to burn down theaters that would eventually play the film inside and outside the country, and they put a huge cash bounty on Bansali and Padukone's head. Let's not forget this was all because of a rumor. A man was even found dead, hanging at a fort in Jaipur with a note next to his body saying, Padmavati ka virod, meaning, in resistance to Padmavati, the movie, not the queen. Side note, I'm Rajput, and while I find Rajput history interesting, the radicalism behind some of the community today is just ridiculous. Also, hey, it's 2018, what's the cast of some still doing here? Now, let's step back a bit. Maybe Rani Padmani was real, and to be upset over how an idol is portrayed is worth an argument. But not like this, especially since there isn't enough historical evidence to prove she existed. Bansali and numerous historians have said multiple times that the film is historical fiction. Historians are actually more concerned at how the movie might glamorize Johar and how it portrays a Muslim emperor as bestial. India's censorship board suggested they simply change the movie title to Padmawat, the name of the original poem, and for it to include disclaimers that the film is historical fiction and that it does not promote self-immolation. So yes, it's great the ban was lifted, but that doesn't erase what happened in the past year or what might happen moving forward. It doesn't change the fact that a radical group completely took away a filmmaker's freedom of expression. It doesn't change the fact that an elitist, misogynist group of people publicly threatened a woman's safety. It doesn't change the fact that the government never pursued those public threats. And it doesn't change the fact that for some reason, people think Bollywood is always accurate. I mean, come on, it's Bollywood. Because if that's the case, then Amitabh Bachchan and a score of actors are really fucking strong, can fight off a bajillion people, and walk away with just a few scratches.